Okay, I want to talk about the supposed uh, article or the supposed th uh, theories that Neanderthals were cannibals. Um, the Neanderthal was supposed to be all over Europe and um, Central and Northern Asia and the Middle East. And uh, they became extinct between 41,000 and 39,000 years ago. But um, some of their DNA is found in modern humans. Now, they were smaller but more muscular than the average human of today. The, um, the male was um, six, up to 66 inches, which is like 5 foot 6, and the female was like up to 61 inches, which is five foot one. So they were a smaller breed of humans. Now, they are said to have gone back like 300,000 years ago, um, and uh, even maybe 600,000 years ago. They're pretty old. And, um, you know, they're always presented as stupid and ignorant, but they um, had fire and they had tools and they did burials. And um, their DNA found their way into current uh, Europeans. No Africans, black Africans, have this DNA. Now, what the, um, some of the latest things are um, is, is um, the study that these, near, at the minimum, these Neanderthals were eaten. And they are finding evidence in Spain. But... Um, they found some 43,000-year-old Neanderthal skeletons excavated from an underground cave in Al Cedron, and uh, it showed evidence of cut marks on the bone and that the bone had been torn apart. So they concluded that these Neanderthals were eaten. And um, some of the teeth and the remains showed evidence of starvation of these um, victims. Now... There's no proof that other Neanderthals did this to, ne to this Neanderthal. And um, I found another article that a, it was a group, which was a family, was found to have been victims of DNA, of uh, cannibalism. And um, using modern forensic techniques, including DNA analysis, they looked at these 12 Neanderthals that had been victims of cannibalism and concluded that um, they were three females and three males, three teenage boys, three children aged between two and nine years old, and they had all been victims in Spain of um, murdered and cannibalized. And um, But the thing is, they can't prove who ate them. They can only show who they were and that they were victims of a violent crime and cannibalism. So, here we have a mystery. Who did this to, the can uh, to, uh, to these Neanderthals? And quite honestly, I think this is another cover-up. I think that they were eaten, eaten by the giants. Um, I've, uh, those familiar with my work, I've already showed you extensively the evidence for global cannibalism and that it was the Cronides, particularly Zeus and uh, the Olympian children, Dionysus Osiris, who went around the world to end it and specifically spread the agricultural cults along with his sister Demeter, who was over in Sicily, and her cults went up into uh, Ireland and England. And uh, on top of it, they went and murdered these giants who were killing and eating people. And these giants were interbreeding well, let's get to it. These giants were white. They were Caucasoid. I've proven that out in some of my other writings from the Book of Enoch. Um, they were giant white people. It was a different species of human. It was a different species of human. They had this genetics. You know, either you know they were passing on genes for our, for gigantism. Um, I've shown you some different cases where um, uh, families pass on a certain gene. And uh, they, you know, certain members of the family get it, and they're huge, but they seem to be okay. Whereas if it's a pituitary problem, you know, they have a lot of health problems. But I've already shown you that some of these genes get passed on genetically to be tall. And this other race could also have been um, some different species as well. 
so, you know, I've already shown you in my research that um, the Cronides were giants and um, they interbred um, between themselves and with regular humans. And the, the interbreeding with this uh, race of giants um, would be your Nephilim. And um, those Nephilim became tyrannical. And I believe they were over in the Americas as well. And um, anytime any of these bones are found, especially in the Americas, they always end up disappearing. They go to the Smithsonian. I've already shown you, um, they mentioned three places in America that bones had evidence of um, um, acromegalia. And um, other than that, good luck, you know, ever getting a proper uh, DNA test on some bones if you can even get your hands on them. Um, so it's definitely, you know, they want to cover up that this uh, previous race of giant uh, caucasoids basically was running around the planet. And I think they were the ones who um, caused Neanderthal to go extinct, quite honestly. I think that was food for them, as, as sad as it is to say that. Um, other, in other cases, they interbred with them. And that would, um, my belief is um, the current um, caucasoid race is a mix between this cronide giant family and Neanderthal and um, possibly some other, you know, like I said, homo, uh, what do they call it? It would be homo sapien, which may just be the homo sapien may be the result of um, this uh, giant race and Neanderthal. And um, they know enough uh, to, yeah, they know enough to determine Neanderthal um, genetics, but they won't give you a, a chromosome count. I've actually researched that and they'll say that they, they don't have enough DNA uh, or cells to find that, which I find to be baloney because you could do simply some polymerase chain uh, reaction to um, create the cells and should be able to look at it. And they, you know, there are um, 48 chromosomes in the great apes, 46 chromosomes in humans. So how many chromosomes are in the Neanderthal? See, they won't tell you that. The, and they, these labs, I've actually contacted them. Give me some song and dance about how they can't figure it out. Well, I don't buy that. I, I've seen different articles online saying it's not the same um, number as uh, as uh, 46. You know, some people are saying it's less even. But um, we won't know for sure. But anyway, the point is, is that I think I think the Neanderthals were the victim of this giant race. And what's interesting is, um, and I really don't like Adolf Hitler, and uh, people just lo lately love to talk about him, but he had this concept of the Ubermensch, and um, it goes back to the theory that there were giant white people walking around on the planet, and he wanted to go back to that. And you got to ask, where did he get that idea from? Hmm? Okay, so that's it. Um, for this video.